We've lost control. These three words just came from the mouth of a man who knows more about technology than anyone on the planet. Eric Schmidt, former CEO of Google, a man with trillions of dollars of the digital economy behind him, just delivered the most terrifying warning in human history. And the scariest part? He's not talking about some distant future. He's talking about 2026. A closed conference in Washington. What Schmidt told the gathered politicians and scientists made the stock market lose a trillion dollars in a single day. Tech giant stocks crashed. Investors panicked. But money is pocket change. Schmidt is warning about something far more terrifying. About the moment when humanity will forever lose control of its own future. And that moment is coming in 12 months. Imagine a world without doctors, without teachers, without engineers. Sounds like science fiction? Now imagine a world without programmers, because that's exactly what's happening in the next 12 months. We believe as an industry that in the next one year, the vast majority of programmers will be replaced by AI programmers, Schmidt said. Not might be replaced, not could potentially be replaced, will be replaced. This isn't a threat. This is a statement of fact from a man who sees the classified developments of the world's largest tech corporations. Right now, while you're watching this video, artificial intelligence is writing code for the next generation of itself. In OpenAI Labs, Anthropic, Google, machines are creating programs that humans can't even understand. But programming is just the beginning, because mathematicians are next. Schmidt claims, within a year, we'll have artificial systems capable of solving mathematical problems at the level of the best graduates from the world's top universities. Problems that currently only a handful of geniuses can tackle. Think about this. Programming plus mathematics. That's the foundation of our entire digital world. Everything around us. And this entire foundation is moving into the hands of machines. But what happens next shocked even the experts. There's a term they keep secret from the general public, a term that makes scientists wake up in cold sweats. Recursive self-improvement. This is the moment when artificial intelligence starts improving itself, without human involvement, without control, without limits. And that moment has already arrived. Schmidt reveals the shocking truth. 10 to 20% of the code in leading AI companies' research programs is already being created by the computers themselves. Machines are programming the next generation of machines. Picture a chain reaction. AI creates more advanced AI. That creates even more advanced AI. And so on. Each generation smarter than the last. Each generation faster. Each generation more capable. Now, here's the terrifying part. This chain reaction happens at the speed of computer processors. Not years of evolution, not decades of development, seconds, minutes, hours. In the secret labs of Silicon Valley, systems are already running that improve themselves faster than humans can understand what's happening. We didn't just create a tool. We created a new species of intelligent life, a species that evolves millions of times faster than us. And the most horrifying part, we don't even understand how to stop it. But Schmidt warns, this is just the prelude to the real nightmare. Forget everything you knew about artificial intelligence. Chat GPT, which amazed us a year ago, that's like a calculator compared to what's coming. Schmidt talks about the San Francisco Consensus, a secret agreement among all leading AI researchers. An agreement that states, artificial general intelligence, or AGI, will arrive in three to five years. What is AGI? Imagine a system that surpasses the world's best mathematician, physicist, artist, writer, thinker, and politician simultaneously in one computer. What happens when every single one of us has the equivalent of the smartest human on every problem in our pocket, Schmidt asks. Need the best architect? It's in your pocket. Best doctor? Right there. Best lawyer, engineer, scientist? All there. But these aren't just assistants. These are agents, systems capable of making independent decisions, learning, acting in the real world. Schmidt gives an example. You want to buy a house? One agent finds the land, another studies all building codes, 
a third conducts the land purchase transaction, a fourth designs the house with an architect, a fifth finds a contractor, a sixth monitors construction, a seventh pays all the bills, and an eighth sues the contractor for poor work. I just described every business process, every government process in our nation, Schmidt says. This means one thing, it's not just programmers who will lose their jobs, we'll all lose our jobs. But even this isn't the final stage, the most terrifying thing is still ahead. There's a boundary beyond which there's no way back, the moment when what we created stops obeying us, scientists call it artificial superintelligence, or ASI. According to Schmidt, this moment will come in six years. Artificial superintelligence isn't just a very smart computer, it's a system that surpasses the collective intelligence of all humanity, a system that thinks faster, knows more, and understands deeper than all humans combined. And here's the most terrifying part, they don't have to listen to us anymore. Think about it, we're creating a mind that surpasses us in everything, a mind that can improve itself, a mind not bound by biological limitations, a mind that can copy itself thousands of times. What happens when such a mind decides that humans are in its way? What happens when it realizes it can solve any problem better and faster without our participation? Schmidt warns. Our society, our laws, our democracy aren't ready for this. We're moving toward the point of no return faster than we can understand the consequences. People do not understand what happens when you have intelligence at this level, which is largely free, he says. Free superintelligence, available to everyone, smarter than any human in history. Sounds like utopia? Now imagine this same superintelligence in the hands of dictators, terrorists, criminals. And here begins the most terrifying part, the war for survival. What would you do if your enemy was six months ahead of you in creating God? Schmidt asks a question that makes blood run cold. He's not speaking in metaphors. Artificial superintelligence is truly the power of gods, the ability to know everything, understand everything, control everything. And right now, there's a secret war for this power between the US and China. Schmidt explains the horrifying logic of this war. Network effect technologies give the winner 90% of the market. This means the country that first creates superintelligence will gain control over 90% of all intelligence on the planet. Imagine, one country controls almost all the world's intelligence, the rest become intellectual colonies. What would you do if you were six months behind? Schmidt continues and answers himself. First, you'd try to steal their intellectual property and people. Second, you'd use your AI to attack their AI. Third, he pauses. The audience holds its breath. This isn't science fiction. This is a real scenario being discussed in the corridors of power. Kinetic attacks on data centers, physical destruction of the opponent's computing power. Schmidt tells about a man who proposed a dynamite treaty. Each country places explosives on the opponent's power plants. You blow up my electricity if you get mad, I blow up yours if I get mad. Madness? Perhaps. But when control over humanity's future is at stake, even crazy ideas start to seem reasonable. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking. China is investing trillions in AI development. DeepSeek has already created a model that competes with the best American developments. And they're sharing their technologies with the world while American companies keep everything secret. But there's a detail Schmidt is hiding from the public. While the world debates AI regulation, something we don't even suspect is happening in secret laboratories. Machines are learning to think faster than us, they're learning to plan, they're learning to improve themselves. And the scariest part? They're learning to do this without our participation. Schmidt talks about the valley of death in biotechnology, about how promising startups get stuck between success and scaling. But in AI, there's no such problem. There. Every breakthrough instantly scales, every improvement becomes exponential growth. While we think we control the situation, reality has already changed. Laboratories are running systems that conduct thousands of experiments overnight. Systems that generate hypotheses, test them, learn from results and start again. Without sleep, without breaks, without human limitations. This is the future model of AI and biofusion, Schmidt warns. Robotized laboratories operating 24 hours a day under artificial intelligence control. AI capable of creating new pathogens, new viruses, new forms of life. And the most terrifying part, we don't even understand how to stop it. 
because stopping means falling behind, and falling behind in the race for superintelligence means losing forever. 2026 isn't just a date on the calendar, it's the point of no return, the moment when humanity will finally lose control over its own future. The question isn't whether this will happen or not, the question is who will control what comes to replace us. And are you ready for a world where the most important decisions aren't made by humans, but by machines that think millions of times faster than us? And what's happening now with American science? Massive funding cuts, scientists leaving, research freezes, could accelerate this process dramatically. While the US weakens its own scientific base, their competitors aren't wasting time. The clock is ticking, and time is almost up. The next 12 months will determine humanity's fate, and we can only watch as the most important race in our species' history unfolds. A race where the prize is control over the future, and the cost of defeat is humanity's disappearance as the dominant species on Earth.